Here's a story that at least I've used many times in my life. It was a Fortune 500 company and they decided to change their basic ICT system. You know, <laughs> doing that is something like very similar to changing the engine of a car. A tremendously big project. You know, buying software like SAP systems or something like that. And they called a couple of Fortune 500 consultancy firms and ask them to give them an offer. And you know, making an offer for such kind of job, that takes time and people. So they spent hours and hours talking back and forth, considering all the details, uh, cost, delivery time, how to spread it globally, education, implementation and all that. And then the final, decision was about to come and that was made at the big fortune 500 company with the whole management team involved sitting there talking to yeah the management team of that big consultancy firm and then finally the ceo of the fortune 500 consultancy firm well the local one in that country where it happened looked in the eyes of the CEO of the possible customer and said, do you want Poodles or Doberman? And got the deal. Yeah, he actually got the deal. And I guess that big five, five, Fortune 500 company, nah, they didn't want Poodles, they wanted Dobermans instead. Here's the thing people have told you for decades. There's business to business and then there's business to consumer. And they are two different worlds. In the business to business situation, it's complicated, it takes time. It's a lot of people involved. You have to consider what kind of roles people have in a company, the CEO, the CFO, head of marketing, head of research, head of operations and all that. It's complicated and long-term relationships matter. And then you have the business to consumer market, you know, like buying Coca-Cola. It's a decision made by one single individual, not the whole group of people. Price matters, branding matters. And it comes down to the possibility of saying, do you want to buy a Doberman or a pool? And then getting the deal. So what I think this tremendously clever CEO actually made was a total break against all ideas we might have historically about marketing. He actually acted as if he suddenly was in a business to consumer situation and he got the deal. That's the point. The idea of business to business versus business to consumer is actually not dead. It's never been alive. It's just two ways to see things. It's just two aspects in life. And the big thing is not to see, am I working in this situation or not? It's more like, when should I use one of these aspects or not? When I go down to a store and buy chocolate, and just so you know, I happen to be allergic against chocolate. I buy it for my family and I consider what my family wants. So it's not only me standing there. And when I work for a big Fortune 500 company and buy stuff, of course people matter. Of course all these ideas matter. So what business to business versus business to consumer is, it's actually only two different glasses that we put on. And the trick is not to know them, but know when to use each one. I think that was a talented person. He actually knew that he could get away, even get this $100 million deal by asking for 
Dobermans instead of Proulx. Yeah, that's a big difference, you know, between reality and the models we have in our head. And we need to separate them. Otherwise, yeah, we easily get stuck in the toolbox.